Ritual cobwebs can terminate opportunity and disappointment will follow immediately. Let me teach you how you can separate yourself from every spirit, demonic cobwebs in your life and in your home. This is a bucket of water and salt inside. What you have to do for me is to share the video to help someone. I have a lot of people on my inbox on this same cover video. Although I have done some videos before, the question keep coming. Please, I want to beg you, if you are new on my page and you need a particular video, always try to check for our old videos before you come to my inbox to make requests for video. God bless you. Spiritual cobwebs are not good. You just have to try not to be. Don't stay with it. If you are the type that experience cobwebs on the way, in your home, and many more, make sure you don't feel relaxed. Do something about it. And that is what I am about to teach you now. Okay? Before I teach you, I want to quickly remind you that one of the things that the spirit of cobweb, that demonic cobweb focus on, is cutting opportunity short. Yes, whenever a good opportunity is coming for you, the one that can turn your life around, the cobweb will just come and cross your face, nor your neck. At the end of the day, your enemy will lose that opportunity. By the special grace of God, it will not be your portion anymore. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Your opportunity, that opportunity that will turn your life around will not be taken away from you anymore in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go straight to the points. And please do not forget to share the video as you are coming in. And as you do that, God bless you. So, what you have to do is to get a bucket of water. We are doing two. I'll greet you guys later. Let me finish the teaching. Two type. You are going to walk two ways. On this cobweb the first one is if you experience if you have cobwebs in your house i'm not talking about the one that say um, maybe because of old house or dirty you experience cobweb. i'm talking about attack spiritual cobwebs anyway you can still use it if you have too much of cobwebs in your house okay due to what i just mentioned god bless you so when you get a bucket of water Bring much salt and drop it inside. Open your Bible and read these verses I'm about to give to you now. If you are living in a family house, all of you will pray on the water. If you are alone, pray on it. Don't worry. All right. Let me quickly give you the Bible verses. I will move on to the prayer. Please make sure you listen to the, to the verses. I will not have time to repeat too much today. God bless you. Psalm 28. You read 7 to 8. Read Psalm 109. Read Luke 10, verse 19. Read Psalm 18, verse 39. Read Joshua 1, verse 9. Read Psalm 73, verse 26. Read 2 Kings 2, 19 to 22. And also, make sure you read John 14, verse 12. Let's quickly fast forward to the assignment. After reading those verses, this is the first assignment now. Your bucket of water and salt inside. Open your mouth and pray. Every demonic cobweb that the enemy or anybody sent to monitor you, your home, your opportunity, your progress, everything about you, that God should put off their roots in the name of Jesus. It came from somewhere. It is from evil power that connected it to monitor you. That is why whenever you are moving on the way, you experience it. Even inside the market, you experience it. Are you getting it? So the roots is what you are about to uproot it from. And after uprooting it from the roots, you will not be able to experience it anymore. Every demonic cobwebs that has been monitoring me by the power in the name of Jesus, I cut off your roots. I cut off your roots. That is the prayer. Don't, in fact, don't worry yourself to make sure you go ahead and do that prayer on the water in the name of Jesus. Now, you that experience it in your home, use that water to mop all your house. If you cannot, if you are not, maybe you do not have more chance to mop. 
Use it to sprinkle around your house after praying on that water. I uproot you from the roots, especially that area, that spot you always see the cobwebs in your home. Make sure you sprinkle all the water in the name of Jesus. As you are sprinkling the water, make sure you continue to open your mouth. I uproot you from the roots. I uproot you from the roots in the name of Jesus. Demonic cobweb sent to monitor me, monitor my business. I uproot you from the roots in the name of Jesus. If you experience this cobweb in your shop, do the same thing. You experience it in your company. Do the same assignment. Sprinkle it around or you use it to mop it. After the mopping, this is the first assignment. After the mopping, take an anointing oil. Open your mouth and prophesy. Anoint your whole house. See, hear this. There is power in your tongue. Use it for what you want. And at the end of the day, if you can do this without having faith that it will work, you are wasting your time. You must have faith faith because it is impossible without faith. God bless you. So after doing that, if you are the type that always experiences it outside whenever you are working, it is the same thing. The only difference is you don't have to pour more salt inside the bucket of water. You are going to use it to bath from your head to toe. From your head to toe, use it to bath after doing the prayer on it. Before you embark yourself on this very assignment, you that always experience it outside, that is a very strong one. Yes, there is a satellite that they are using to monitor you. I must tell you, before you embark on this very assignment, I will want you to go for midnight prayer. Begin to tell God what you want, that God should send that root to the pit of hell, that God should remove your name from that list of monitoring spirit because it is a miss that the devil uses. The enemy uses to monitor. Are you getting it? Go for midnight prayer, three days midnight prayer, four days midnight prayer. Then you embark on this very assignment the next morning. Okay, that is it. After doing it, you that is still experiencing it outside, anoint yourself.